you've just gotten a new G29, G923 or G920 and you want to hook it up to your PC. Unfortunately, hooking it up isn't as easy as clamping this to your desk and then just plugging the single USB to connector inside your PC. You're going to have to connect all of your external peripherals and uh, shifter and the pedals and the power supply first. So to do that, just flip over the wheel and you will see uh, plugs for different connections and uh, for all of your different uh, cable routing needs. So the first thing that we're going to connect is actually our pedals. Now the Logitech pedals come with uh, this sort of a serial connector that you can use to plug this in right here. Uh, it's labeled with a pedal logo. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to plug this thing in like that. And once it's in, I'm going to route this cable. Just make sure that there is enough uh, cable length here so that it doesn't get snapped. And uh, now we can just run it through these channels that are already made here. Uh, then this one is for your gear shifter. I don't have a shifter with me. Uh, it's an optional accessory. So uh, then we're going to move on to the power supply, which is a 48 uh, volt, watt power supply delivered over a barrel jack. So just going to plug the same way the barrel jack in, run this all the way around, make sure there is enough cable length, and then run it through these channels again. Now your wheel is ready to be mounted. So how do we mount this? Well, uh, the first thing to do is making sure that you have enough cable space if you're mounting this on a desk like this one. So if you've got full length mouse pad, if you've got all of the other peripherals, make sure to push them as far back as you can. Because when you're mounting this uh, and if something gets snagged right here, it can actually snip off your cables and cause a lot of problems and then cause your wheel to stop working. So I'm just going to push this, uh, I've already pushed this back as far as much as I could. And now I can just go ahead, put this wheel on the desk, slide it as far back as go. Now there are two screws here that we need to tighten uh, in order for the wheel to stay on the desk. And uh, let me get you a closer look. All right, so these screws right here, all you have to do is once your wheel is on the desk and in the right place, just keep screwing these down until you feel them lock in place and then press them down once more and then lock them so that they remain recessed. We're going to do the same thing for the other screw as well. So we're just going to pull it down and recess it as well. And now your wheel is connected. So the next thing to do is to connect this to power. So for that, I'm going to take this cord from the power adapter and now I'm going to plug it in into a power strip that should result in the wheel automatically being recalibrated as soon as it gets power. Go ahead and do that. All right, so now that it's plugged in, the next thing we're going to do is uh, connect this via USB to our laptop and uh, hopefully you should see this come to life. It's been sitting in the closet for a while now. Okay, so. And uh, here we go. As soon as the wheel is plugged in, it will automatically calibrate itself by rotating completely in four directions. And uh, from this point onwards, you should be able to see all of your connected gear in the Logitech app. So as you can see right here, I have the wheel showing up right alongside my mouse in the app. So I can click on it, go check the wheel so I can monitor the operating range, make sure that it's rotating as per its want. Uh, you can adjust the sensitivity, uh, the centering spring strength. Uh, I can just load the defaults here so that it's easier to demonstrate. So uh, you can try and rotate the wheel all the way around and see if it's working. The same thing applies for the pedals because as soon as you step on either of these, you can see that your inputs are being recorded, your brake is working, clutch is working all the way in, and um, that's it. That is how you set up a G29 for use on PC. Now, uh, individual games will have individual settings that you're going to have to manage 
uh, depending on what game you're playing to get the wheel to work the way you expect however it should be pretty easy and since this is a relatively common wheel it should automatically be detected in most games that you are playing if you like this video consider subscribing give us a thumbs up as the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website canada technology follow us on social media and we'll see you in the next one